So, uh, so we are back. Uh, I switched to the BSL shader uh, since T uh, gave us bugging in the caves. It looks nice. I think I have pre-configured it already once for testing. Although I'm not sure if it was actually this shader. Um, noticeably, the lava is much brighter, more extreme looking kind of. Um, there's more uh, like foggy uh, kind of effect in the world. It's almost kind of over the top a little for me. But uh, yeah, we'll try and we'll see what the cave of oh, fuck is giving to us. Let's fuck this creeper up. Creeper up. Fuck up. Yeah. No. Fuck. We were too slow. Oh no. Oh well. Got a fucking hole in the world. Um. Yeah. Why is it night now? Okay, let's have a sleep. Okay, wakey wakey, a new day, another dime to be made. Oh, the water is here. I saw a little kind of flickering, but uh, yeah, it's it's nice. I, I, I think the tea shaded water I, I, I thought it looked a little better or, or for my personal taste the tea shaders water was better or nicer but I think it didn't really affect how the lava looked and other stuff was very minimal but but uh, yeah I'm, I'm new to the shader business so it's uh, actually a good thing for me if it's not too extreme usually but yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. So, we are here. Uh, like the third or the fourth episode. And we're already yep, lighting the portal. Nice. And in we go. But we'll... a little gold, why not? Flowers? No, 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 it has to be mushrooms. Looks a little weird though, but okay. I mean, it fits to the texture pack. It's just uh, no, not a single white spot in there. So it looked like roses at first. Um, where's our way down to go up again? Yeah, here. Now we just got uh, got to find some brown mushrooms. I'm done from from too high. Yeah. Um, 
Let's just try to not get uh, wrecked by ghosts or something. Also, um, I just noticed there's not actually any music, I think. Sit on the wrong sink again. Yeah, it is. Nice on the right end. Yeah. fire in the mines. Um, cool. That's good. Oh, we don't really need any cobblestone. Um, What did I want to take down there? Um, not, um, not, not coal, obviously. <laughs> um, different. Okay, I think we have what we need in the We'll just walk twice, why not? Is this guy living here now? Yeah. Live here if you want. Oh, no. Let's get some netherrack then. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks way better. And uh, it's kind of good, the water is really clear to look through. That's nice. 
and there's a bomb somewhere. There's clawberries in there. And we got me, right? No, we didn't get me. Oh. Maybe, maybe they were, they were like growing plants. I just know that they exist. I've never actually seen them in game. In game. Uh, I didn't actually play Minecraft uh, for the last couple versions. So. My knowledge about it is very vague, vaguely and uh, kinda outdated, or not just kinda, a lot outdated, I just know basically the basics. Um, last time I played Minecraft was probably in like, or like really really played it, was probably in like something like 2012 or something. Oh, uh, 13, 13, probably. 13, uh, maybe, maybe 14. But I think my uh, peak Minecraft time was around uh, 12, 13. Um, <coughs> more iron? Uh, it's pretty. I, I feel like the update has made it easier to find these resources at least that's my feeling because we just came in we have obsidian we have iron I mean I don't really care about copper much and I think there's not really much you can do with it anyway but uh, the iron the gold oh yeah I forgot the gold Oh wait, that was it. I wanted an iron pickaxe. Oh, forgot it. And also the mobs are not that bad. I think back in the day I'd be scared as hell in, in this like big kind of cave. I think like uh, I think, and I think it would be full of uh, mobs spawning in, but it's really not that bad here. And I think that's probably due to the mob spawning being uh, turned down a little for the update, or since, since I last tried it. So it's almost like a big home already, yeah? Die right, right, yeah. And do we have uh, underside? Is this, this, underside? Underside, yeah. And there's die right, underside, and granite. That's just so I think. And we're all wrecked. Right right. Um, and down 
dangerous of your skeletons. But, uh, it's pretty chill so far for exploring. fits with the other wood if it had any there's a spider coming fuck fuck <laughs> yeah, spider server is kinda difficult to hit and uh, that's the, the the negative of not having a sword, uh, you cannot hit that often, good, so uh, if you miss your, you have to wait longer to read. gold somewhere below, but I don't think it was actually down here. Maybe, maybe, maybe like so in like a middle level. I mean we have uh, lamps or torches here. Then how about oh yeah it was like kinda down here I think. Around the corner, right? Yeah. And we've got gold, right? Gold. Gold rush. Yeah, bro gold. I also heard the, like the wains, the, the clumps of um, ore blocks are supposed to be bigger or they're supposed to be occurrences where there's actually a, a huge structure of uh, this ores occur occurring, I've seen like from basically from from bedrock to to the to the earth level, well, basically all the way to the top. But uh, I'm not sure. And it's really bright with this shader. Really bright, really, really bright. <coughs> um, actually, we're like behind here, I guess. Uh, and this doesn't sound too good either. Oh, yeah, um, these two we forget. Or forgot, or I wanted to come back for those. But. Genshin Impact uh, episodes mostly in like 
uh, low comment uh, uh, Swiss German, uh, more like a kind of maybe commenting for vibing a little, but uh, but not really for uh, any actual purpose. And so I'll probably stick uh, with, uh, with Swiss German. I think no one even actually cares for like. Uh, comments to, to, to the gameplay more than like uh, maybe displays of surprise or anger but uh, you everyone understand they're basically universal uh, you, you understand that from every language uh, but I think uh, well, the, I think Minecraft is probably a little more boring. So it's more suited also for uh, more actual commentary um, over the gameplay and more uh, in-depth. Uh, in -depth. Uh, I kind of have a little difficulty pronouncing the English words sometimes, but uh, that's because I'm not really used to making the sounds of um, uh, this little interjection. Um, what I meant was, uh, uh, Minecraft is more like, in my opinion, more suited for like uh, actual real like conversation and uh, community interaction in uh, uh, quotations. Um, so I think I'll do Minecraft in English, and uh, if if I see comments. In the week under the videos, um, I, I will kind of pre record the episodes like I do with the other stuff. But uh, if I see like something um, on the channel in the comments, whatever, um, I will probably uh, kind of comment on this uh, and uh, answer questions or whatever um, while uh, playing Minecraft and then it will be like a kind of mix between uh, like commentary and uh, Minecraft gameplay um, yeah because obviously um, just mining blocks is not the most uh, like interesting um, action in quotations again on the screen. Um, well, well uh, but then uh, that's probably a good uh, like carrier for uh, adding other stuff like uh, kind of conversation comments that uh, what. Whatever I, I'll see, but where I go with this, um, and, and more like kind of spontaneous uh, as a person, and also with uh, this channel, with uh, what I do, yeah. Um, so it, that's just uh, like the kind of general concept I, 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 I think of or have. Kind of as a wake target um, for for the kinds of videos so far, um, and uh, oh, taking heavy fall damage here. <laughs> uh, so um, so far, oh, we're really lucky for having gotten a bucket, so we can get up again. At least get up easily. to say is like yeah so far um, my channel just consists of Genshin Impact I haven't uploaded a Minecraft uh, episode now uh, or so far um, but I, I don't really want to just play uh, Genshin Impact um, it's cool and uh, but I kind of want to do you know a general 
gaming or, or actually uh, uh, whatever channel kind of uh, I don't want to overdo it I don't just want to kind of do, do like tons of experimentation uh, so don't be afraid that uh, like I will completely to uh, go reckless <laughs> um, I just um, yeah it's a, it's a little pet project um, related basically kind of to the technology of streaming video editing or, or, or automating this um, less about the actual uh, like the doing cool effects and stuff mm, not necessarily not that but uh, not primarily it's more like an interest in uh, how can I do different kinds of stuff with my computer with like uh, different tools um, my computer is also not the best not not necessarily not uh, necessarily because I like the money to, to get a better computer but uh, also just because uh, I like it that way for most of the use of my computer it's perfectly adequate um, or perfectly fine but it's um, yeah, I, I, I just like it. It's interesting to kind of get the, the challenge. Um, how can I find minimalistic tools to do this and that? And uh, also, you know, do automated edits. Like, uh, um, for example, for now I actually have um, done my thumbnails always uh, in, in, in GIMP actually. I not really, it wasn't really hard edit. I just changed to a screenshot of the, the recording of the current recording and adjusted the, the text um, on the template and I just had to export it it's really quickly but actually um, I am interested into into doing it with image magic for example and uh, actually automating this creation or, or not necessarily on automated completely right but uh, at least like do it to a level where I just have to type in like the number of the episode and like give it the image file that I want to use as the, as the thumbnail or the screenshot I, I do the screenshot in MPV uh, the file for playing videos so with the S uh, key it, it will create a, a screenshot and it will just be a full resolution file but uh, to YouTube obviously I always can't freak out in native resolution um, so 1440p uh, YouTube wants the thumbnail in about 720p I think <coughs> So, but I, I downscale it. I, I actually um, take that, uh, put everything on it, and then uh, downscale the picture. And uh, I think it's a fairly easy operation to, to make even simpler because uh, although even my current uh, operation on the source material is not extremely uh, wasteful in time it is it takes a little uh, time to, to open the program to select type save as and uh, in, a, in a kind of script it's just like uh, it's just no worries um, it's uh, back back and and it will be faster and it doesn't require me to be there um, so for example the, the advantage of uh, such a script is <coughs> even if it would take the same time at the exact same time as me doing it uh, manually um, I can just start it and then I can 
go away in theory <laughs> or I can start other related or uh, other processes that need to a uh, required uh, result um, or, or I can do work or whatever uh, while this is running and it's just computer time used but not actually my time used and that's a big advantage and uh, but uh, most likely I will kind of go into automating I will probably uh, add it to me to my recording script uh, maybe um, yeah or something like that I will uh, surely create some script to, to uh, create uh, screenshots and then select one of those and then it will be processed um, that's also uh, so I kind of already sort of uh, doing that I just didn't uh, create that because image magic is actually very complicated kind of uh, command line thing uh, to to learn that I didn't uh, have time yet but I already initially sort of doing it kind of that way eventually so I intentionally uh, kind of created this uh, simple uh, and uh, also presumably simple to reproduce uh, style of thumbnail and uh, yeah But uh, yeah, uh, for streaming I use FFmpeg and I have to say, or I want to say, FFmpeg is, is likeable. People say FFmpeg and image magic have difficult uh, syntax or difficult uh, command line options and much to learn. Yeah, but uh, I, s I feel like actually FFmpeg is much simpler, it's much more, from what I've seen, more logical, more rememberable, and uh, yeah, you 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 kind of it's more intuitive. I feel like you 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 just learn it easier. I I have used it, so you I'm always kind of a learning by doer. So it's not like uh, that's. It's beautiful here. Uh, so, so obviously that could influence my opinion too. But I have also looked a little into image magic, and I feel like just image magic. You have to. I feel like you have to learn everything. There's all separate things you have to learn, and in in FFmpeg it all has this kind of common logic, and you can work pretty quickly with it and if you don't know something you you know the concept of how the, the program is built you know exactly what to to, to google or uh, so you can get the correct result and you just have to oh it's it's this text to insert them uh, it's working in, in in image magic i think it's like uh, more complicated just or, or not even complicated just more memory stuff and that's kind of not my thing usually but you know uh, I will I will create my scripts and uh, I, I actually already have used an FFmpeg script for, for my YouTube uh, um, thumbnail selected or I have a little program or an SXIV modification that uh, actually creates like a, a YouTube uh, video list so it uh, displays the, the, the available uh, my subscriptions in a program and it displays the image and the text uh, or the title of the video and uh, the image I process with um, image magic to append to it um, the the timestamp or how long the video the video duration I append it to the image so that's a very simple uh, command obviously 
but it's uh, one instance of image magic I already am actually using. Ha, it didn't hit me. Yeah. So we've been to the nether, we've been to the... Um, how to... to the caves. We've already seen some combat, but we haven't killed a creeper yet, so let's try. Still not? Oh, fucker, it's hard. Yeah, we've killed the creeper, man. What? Yeah, so, uh, I actually, previously, while, while we were passing by, um, I can sort of uh, the underground. I've seen in the video, so I kind of looked. Uh, sometimes I, I follow the channel YouTuber Spark of Phoenix's videos on on the Minecraft topic, but not while uh, in really playing. So, but uh, you know, I I just followed him still, mm, kind of from. A nostalgic feeling, I guess, from uh, back in the day where I was actually really playing. Um, but he has he has shown this uh, big copper rain stuff, this world. It's kind of this roundy structure. And oh man, Ooh, lucky we're not in hardcore. <laughs> All right, flip out for being so close to that. <laughs> I think this stuff looks kind of roundish. I'm not sure if it's really anything, but it could be that there's a ton of ore in there. Could be. Doesn't have to. But I, I suspect that it's actually one of those ore structures that kind of is like a snake or a round thing that's kind of going around upwards. I mean, there's iron here, which is good. Uh, really, it's really actually very easy to to farm ores. It seems to me, at least, for for yeah, just tons of iron already for what little like effort we put in, for what little uh, kind of rank we have, like for how. Um, close to just what we began we are. I think that's crazy how... Whoa. Oh. I think that's from like this meteorite thing. Oh, so it's that. It's... It is round, but it's not because of ore. It's because of being like a meteorite thing. It's the same as the other one. I think it's the same, probably. I think it's going. Uh, it's probably going down a lot. Coal. Don't burn it. of being like crystal but the the white stuff is actually nice Let's go to the top temporarily, and uh, I mean we have kind of mined a lot of stuff. I, I think we can, we can, kind of expand our, our quarters. 
We don't have to live in the smallest of small mining shacks now. After already being so wealthy with all iron and copper. It's, it seems like it's probably become day now. It's basically because the only reason I got down again was because of it being night. Uh, I could do the usual kind of, or the common like kind of, at least for me, common strategy of like just putting up a bed like in the cave or in the way down to the cave. But that's uh, that's not I want what I want to do now because that's to some degree almost like a little cheating. It's like it's too easy. Oh, can we get the skeleton? No. I have the No, nah, doesn't actually. But that's it. Oh, uh, now it does. Fuck. Yeah, I don't have eyes behind my back. So. Poor villagers. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, good. Thanks, son. Oh yeah. Actually. I know what we do next uh, episode. <laughs>